We'll guide you through how to fix WhatsApp not working on your iPhone. If you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and liking the video and let's get into this. There are quite a few reasons why WhatsApp may not be working, so let's get in some fixes. The first thing I think that's worth trying is just fully restarting the WhatsApp app. To do that on an iPhone with no home button, so it's just like an all screen phone, all you need to do is go and drag up from the bar at the bottom of your phone like so, and don't let go like you would when closing the app, and then you should go and see your app center, and then you can swipe up on WhatsApp and that will fully close it, and then you can reopen it up and go and see if your problem has been resolved. If it still hasn't been resolved, it's worth checking if there are any updates for WhatsApp. To do that, you just open the app store and then go and type in WhatsApp, just like so. And here it is. And then if yours says update, like mine does, go and click on update and that will hopefully go and fix your problem. Having the most up-to-date version will just go and fix any bugs and things like that. However, if yours just says open, this means you've already got the most up-to-date version and there's nothing more you can update it to. For the next fix, what I think is worth doing is just making sure WhatsApp is not down because if WhatsApp serves are down, that is could be a reason why you're experiencing the problem. To do that, you just open up a web browser and you can just go and type in uh, WhatsApp down detector, just like so. And down detector is a website which is gonna sort of follow the status and problems. So I'll click on it here. And then if I scroll down, basically if there's been a big outage and the servers are down, you're going to notice a huge spike in reports. As you can see, this has been pretty flat and there's only been about 10 an hour. So it probably means the problem is on your phone. So another fix you can try is making sure WhatsApp has all the permissions that it requires. You, to do that, you just open up the settings. You can go and type in, uh, drag down at the top, click on search and then type in WhatsApp. Alternatively, you can just scroll down until you find WhatsApp. I prefer to search it though, and then make sure WhatsApp has access to everything it needs. So everything it needs is things like uh, contacts, uh, be able to be able to go and see who you want to go and message, your microphone and camera, because of course that's how you speak to people, and then the primary ones, and also it's worth turning on mobile data, because if mobile data is turned off for WhatsApp, when you're out, you aren't gonna be able to go and use it. So make sure mobile data is turned on as well. Then go and see if WhatsApp was now going to work. If it still isn't working, then what you can try is reinstalling WhatsApp. To do that, you just go and find the WhatsApp app, and then hold your finger on it, and then you can go and tap on remove app, Tap there and then tap delete app and you can then delete it from your phone. And to reinstall it, you just open up the app store and you can go and search for WhatsApp and go and download it again. So I hope one of these fixes did work for you. If they did, please leave a like.